Gail about a very special restaurant in Venice that's helping some Angelinos get back on their feet. Hi, Gail. Uh, yes, we've traveled from Beverly Hills to Venice for what we're describing today as Helpful Hospitality Monday. Businesses and organizations that are using their expertise in the service industry to help others. You're looking at the work going on here at the Bread and Roses Cafe. Four-star food for the poor and the homeless. We'll explain when we come back. There is a special cafe in Venice that is giving hope and comfort to some people that are in need here in Los Angeles. Yeah, Gail's joining us right now from the Bread and Roses Cafe with more on this very, very special place. Hi, Hi Gail. Yeah, this is part of our Helpful Hospitality Monday. Uh, earlier, we were in Beverly Hills taking a look at a program there involving Shaka Khan's foundation. Now we're in Venice, and we are in the kitchen, obviously, with Derek Walker, program manager here at uh, Bread and Roses. We're in the kitchen of your facility here in Venice that feeds how many people for breakfast every day? We do about 150 people a day, five days a week. And what makes you different from other shelter uh, services such as this, because I've worked in several, is the food well, is... Well, as you see here, this is, uh, this is Guillermo and Jose, these yes. are two of our culinary training students. Right. Um, so they've just completed a program where they've spent six weeks with me. Um, we teach them classic French uh, technique. <laughs> So we try to apply that here to uh, the quality of food that we have here for the homeless. Um, to, today we're doing um, these breakfast steaks, which Look is at this. Uh, top Look sirloin. At this. And, and when you talked about steaks earlier, I thought, you know, it would be kind of thin. You could kind of see through the steaks, but uh-uh. Right. You can see these are nice size, about six ounces. Darren. Um, and these have been basted in butter. Um, and then also we have some breakfast potatoes. Darren. How do you decide on the menu every day? Um, you know, it's really based on um, what we have donated. Uh, and so you've got eggs donated, steak donated. And we have some uh, huevos rancheros here to complete this. And that's what's on the menu. You start your service at 9.30 in the morning? Uh-huh. Every day? 9.30 in the morning. And uh, everybody will get this sort of meal. Mm -hmm. this, this, you're able to do this also with the help of volunteers. No volunteers. Yeah, this our can't volunteers um, run the front of the house for us. We're one of the only um, places in the nation that uh, does it cafe style, yeah. uh, meaning that we operate just like a restaurant. We have people make reservations to, um, oh. you know, to come here and eat, and then our volunteers run the front of the house. Um, they serve uh, fresh, uh, fresh juice. Uh, water, coffee, um, and then also fresh fruit, a bowl of fruit with every meal. The whole gamut. Now, let us show you a little bit of tape because I've been calling this helpful hospitality. Earlier, we were at the Peninsula Beverly Hills because the Shaka Khan Foundation takes young people uh, to the Beverly, uh, to the, the facility in Beverly Hills, Four Star Hotel, to uh, teach them the, uh, the hospitality industry and how, that they, how they can make a, a living and ed educate them about other opportunities available to them. And that's the kind of thing you're doing here, so again, but it's different. So self-sustaining in, in that our, our students um, are trained um, and they come in here and they also help us cook and serve the homeless. So. Excellent. Now, you also have a new facility that's opening, Dr. Valencia Adams. Uh, where is that located? Is it, is it far from here? No, it's just about a mile and a half away. And what goes on there? We have a full service uh, agency, pantry services, child care program. We serve over 300 families a week with extra bags of groceries. And again, those are all donated? All donated. And um, I'm going to put some information on the screen because uh, you need volunteers. You always need volunteers. And you always need donations. And this is how people can, can help. Uh, volunteers, certain periods of time of year, better than other times of the year? Summer easier than winter? Well, the holidays are always an important time of the year for volunteers, but really, because of the services are year-round, we always need volunteers and welcome them, especially here at Fred and Roses. And we're here, and we're looking at what Derek's talking about, full-service flowers on the table, uh, fruit, um... Juice. And a wonderful, and wonderful, uh, wonderful meal. All right, who's going to get that plate? Um, you know, actually, we're going to start where we always start, All right. you know, with the first table. All right, I'm going to let you get back to work. But again, we're at uh, Bread and Roses Cafe, and uh, they both invite you to come and help, come and donate, and uh, get back to the community. Nice again, uh, That's a very Helpful Hospitality thing. Monday. That's there a great idea. I like that. Thank okay, you very thank much. you so much, Gail. Apparently, we have some viewer mail, and I...